Um, this is my Alienware laptop, uh, M15 R2. Um, this is the Alienware command center. Um, this is how you change the brightness of the keyboard. You just change it right here. It says go dark, go light, go dim. Um, I turn go. I went to dark. Go dark turns the lighting off. Go dim turns it to half brightness, and go uh, light turns it to full brightness. Uh, I'm gonna browse the themes. I made a couple themes. This is an MSI theme I made, I guess, if you will. It's uh, I pulled the MSI laptop off the internet and just copied the keyboard lighting over. Had to do it um, manually per key, so it was time consuming. But you can just see what it looks like. Um, this is just the regular default blue. Um, this is the, the breathing effect. Um, it just strobes in and out of brightness. And you can change the duration of the strobe and how fast it does it. See? And then you can change, you know, obviously, you know, the color of it. How fast it how fast it strobes in and out. Uh, this is the spectrum effect. It just change, shifts colors and you can change the duration of it. Uh, this looks like the my Asus Tough keyboard. That's what it looks like. It's a it's a similar effect to the Asus Tough one zone RGB keyboards. Uh, this is the well known Rainbow Wave. Uh, I see it on people really like this effect. Uh, my wife said it was pretty. <laughs> and you can change the, the speed of how fast the colors walk across the keyboard by changing the duration from low to high. And see how fast it goes. Yeah, it's, it's, it goes pretty fast. Um, this is the scanner. It's uh, like a Knight Rider. Um, see, it looks like the front of a kit. And it just scans left and right on the keyboard. And you can change the speed of it as well. And the color. It doesn't have to be red. It can be blue or purple or whatever. So I'm just showcasing uh, uh, the colors you can change. You can change it to any color you want. There's a color wheel right there. You can pick any custom color you want. Um, I like this keyboard because it, uh, I was looking at the MSI keyboards and they, uh, on the laptops, I was going to consider getting one, but I felt, I felt like the colors on the keyboards were too, uh, neon colored. And I, I feel like the alien words colors are more true. They're, you know, like the reds are real deep red. And so I, I, I don't know. It's personal preference, but hey, here's that MSI. Um, theme I made Now I'm showing you how to change each individual key the color key uh, the key color You just click on each key on the on the um, the app And see how you highlight over it you pan over it and it highlights you just click on it and you change the color See how, how I'm doing right there, and it just corresponds it shows you the the color on the virtual keyboard on the app and it obviously corresponds in real time of whatever color you're changing it to which i thought that was cool it actually changes it in real time the older uh alienware command center you you had to save the settings or preview them to for the settings to update for the keyboard and the lighting to update so this one does it in real time which i think is really cool so you can change it as you go and you don't have to save anything or or preview or nothing so Going from my old 15 inch, my uh, Alienware 15 R3 to this was a huge step. This this uh, this keyboard's beautiful. It's cool looking. Um, I I'm glad I got the per key RGB rather than the 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 four zone RGB. This is way better. And from what I've been seeing, the per key RGB is brighter as well than the the four zone. So yeah, it's a really bright, nice keyboard. Well, yeah, well, that that's it.